Welcome back everybody. The past four days have been a nightmare. So, uh, when was it? Whatever the last video was, it's been a while. Uh, Monday maybe? It's Friday today, so we, uh, we finished that paddock that we are in and then uh, we moved up to Rasheen there and got all the gear up there, got harvesting. Then uh, that day we had thunderstorms coming down, so they came down, it was actually quite bad. I'll overlay some photos now of uh, a few lightning strikes we had. Anyway, that started a fire. Uh, well, actually, started multiple fires. Um, got to the fire, it was right opposite us. Uh, and then um, the rain, we had a lot of rain, uh, put it all out, which was fantastic. Otherwise, it would have been a nightmare. We would have been following fires as the fire, the th thunderstorm kept going. So that was that was nice. Uh, the rain was good. Anyway, but what it's meant is the last couple of days we have not been able to harvest at all. We've worked just doing odd jobs, cleaning things, cleaning bins, cleaning headers, cleaning chasers out, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yesterday we were sort of hopeful we could get going, but the moisture only got down to 15.4 percent. We needed it at 13. Uh, so, right now today we're hoping we can get going. Uh, it is a bit cloudy, which is a, a bit of a bummer, but today I believe it's meant to be 24 degrees and then we're up to 30 degrees for the next four days, so that's going to be good. Uh, so, at the moment George is down doing a sample, Henry's washing his ute, and uh, Annabelle's there washing the ute as well, and I am in here just uh, cleaning my car. You can see how dirty it is, so we're just... Uh, we're just, we're down to cleaning cars. That's the last sort of job that I have for the cars because, yeah, we've been doing like half days. Uh, we went to Hopetown for lunch the other day. Um, you know, just looking for jobs. But uh, hopefully we get going today. So that's the plan that we can, uh, we can finally get going. All right, George is back. What do you reckon? We'll just be silent. Sorry. Um, what do I reckon? Uh, well, it's harder than yesterday. Four, 14, 7. I'm going to say 14, 6. <laughs> just chasing. Price is riding you. Right, what are we? You know what? We're outside the limits. What does that mean? It means the moisture's high. What, too high to record? No, no, it records. 15.6, George, we're miles off. Well, 1%. Miles off. Rightio. We will get to cleaning cars and hopefully the sun comes out and the wind comes out and the humidity drops and uh, at that rate, it's gonna be lunchtime-ish by the time we do another one. All right, it's now the next day. Yesterday's moisture only got down to 14.2. So Henry's now just gone and done a sample. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So the, in all of yesterday, we started at 15.6, and that was at like 8.30ish in the morning. And then in the night time, well, the night time, afternoon time, 4 o'clock was our last sample we did, and it was 14.2%. So it only dropped just over a percent the whole day. Uh, there's just so much moisture in the soil, I believe, and it's just keeping it all, all wet, and the wind's just not there to get it all out. So here's hoping today's already warmer and drier, and yeah, fingers crossed. 14.6. It's lower. It's a lower start. It's a, 12 though. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the protein. Okay, 14.6. So our time now is 9 o'clock. So we'll probably do one in about 10.30 because with how low, slow it's been dropping and we'll go from there. Oh, this moisture. So 14.2. Uh, um, so it's going to wait until 12 o'clock now. Everyone's going to meet at the paddock and uh, then I'll run the sample back because it's only got to drop 0.2 to get started. And then hopefully we'll get going. Um, so 13% is deliverable now. It was 14. Uh, no. Yeah, it was 14. Now it's 13, which is a bit annoying, but uh, the stack average is getting too high, so you see we actually need to bring it down. So uh, we're going to get started at 14 and just do a PS at that and then uh, that way we're actually getting some harvest done finally 
uh, by the time they've done a silo I'm hoping it's just like traditionally the moisture starts dropping and starts dropping keeps dropping quick um, and then yeah once that's they've done a silo hopefully it's you know dry 13% and we can uh, continue on and keep rolling but uh, at the moment it's just very frustrating the uh, yeah what's going on but yeah, nothing we can do everybody around here is in the same boat okay it's nearly 12 o'clock so we're about to go and do a sample everyone's going to come down and uh, get ready to go I'm going to run the sample up to the shed and uh, then we'll be right but a few people are wondering uh, why I'm not bringing the dogs to work anymore so Pippa's fine but uh, Bailey is wearing the cone of shame are oh, you bales and she got a uh, she got an ulcer in her eye uh, so she had to have surgery on it and if you can see she's her eyes all sewn up so she's uh so it's been protected um so i can't take them to work with me uh now normally i just let them leave them out here you know around the house so, so they can chill but we are working just there so the headers not that you can see them are uh just here so unfortunately i've got to lock them up in the dog pen because uh i obviously want to come to work and they just run up after me and um yeah we can't have that because just got to try and keep her keep her away for um you know with all the we don't want any dust or dirt or anything to get in her eye and uh you know then lose her eye and have another very expensive surgery to get her back so uh yeah gotta put them in the cage come on good dog no no in bailey come on in good dog She's been wearing that thing for about a week. You'd think she'd know where it is, but no. Nah. She still always hits it whenever she goes in. <laughs> What do you reckon? I reckon uh, 137. So it's dry on your screen? Yeah, it's about half a percent dry, so yeah. Oh, finally, we might be into some harvest. Right, his guess is 137. What's yours? Well, it's 14%. Uh, so we're gonna get going at that That is it is Very 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 frustrating this moisture um, Like I said uh, earlier yesterday, I only dropped one point four percent In a whole day and today it's Well, we started at what 14.6 this morning We did that sample at nine o'clock current time is 20 past 12 and we're at 14% so my god is this frustrating but we'll get going we'll get a fill bin off Well, that's a hell of a drop, isn't it? So 13.6 was that chaser load. So that's the first chaser load to go into the uh, into the field bin. Bloody good though. I mean, if it is that low, this is why I'm going to be testing every single every single load, um, just so that we know. And uh, to the people who keep commenting, why don't I put the uh, the the Invitec in my Ute with an inverter and drive around like that? Um, I've already addressed it, but. For those who might be new, it's because this is a shared Infotech. It's um, from CBH and it's uh, meant so that uh, growers in this area, so there's four growers who come to this Infotech here, and it's meant so that 
people can come to a central location to do their moistures. So if I was to have that with me and driving around, it's not fair to them. And also if you drive around with it, it um, will throw the calibration out and it won't work. They're very, very particular about um, yeah, how those things operate. So yeah, that's, that's why it's always in the one location and much happier to do the driving um, to here to do the moisture samples than where I was because it's still a lot less K's, but I'm happy to do the K's to make sure my moisture's right. So since the last uh, clip, I've done a few more moistures. Uh, we've filled up one PS and put some grain into the other one. Uh, our last moisture was 13.3, so it is going down. Uh, and then Henry was saying where they are now, it's in like the sandy area. And uh, he's noticed on his moisture meter, it's reading a bit dry. And uh, yeah, came in at 12.7. So Brian's now left town, he's on his way out. So in two hours, he'll be out here. Uh, but I'll keep on doing moistures just to check and make sure because uh, they're gonna they're not gonna be in that sand patch for very long. Um, so yeah, we just obviously want to make sure of our moisture and it is dropping. Uh, and then to the question of uh, what happens, you know, when it rains with these open top fill bins, um, I've already addressed it before, but I'll address it again. So we had that 10 mils of rain in like a couple of minutes the other day for that uh, storm that we had. Um, now, the next day we serviced machines and then we left it. The day after that, I got Brian out and we outloaded, uh, well, 79 tonne. Uh, so that got the, um, yeah, one of the field bins nearly empty. Uh, and we couldn't do two loads because it wasn't quite two loads there. So there's probably like another 50 tonne left over from that rain event. Um, so all we did was we just shifted it from one fill bin to another just to uh, aerate it and you know just you know helps it along um, so it doesn't you know if you leave it it will go you know gross and mouldy or you know not mouldy it'll germinate um, so yeah we just moved it around and yeah it's all fine so he'll come and uh, we'll outload that stuff and yeah we'll obviously the stuff that we're getting now as well is what, out, what, what will go out as well uh, but yeah with the uh, open tops it really isn't an issue when it comes to uh when it comes to rain and the rain doesn't raise your moisture on on the grain so um yeah nah it's fine so i just got a sample from henry the, uh, they're all the way working back up to the north now, so they're out of that sand pile. Oh, that sand piece doesn't last long, so I'm just uh, got another sample that I'll run back to the shed just to uh, make sure we're dry because Brian's on his way out. And we want to, yeah, make sure we get the right grain to go in the bins because, uh, yeah, we don't want to have you know him get uh, too wet a load that it has to get dried because obviously that costs money and time and frustration so we don't want to do that so I don't know if this will be as dry as that 12.7 but I'm hoping that it's at least 13 because this is the north side of the stuff so you know it should be well probably is gonna be a bit wetter but yeah we'll find out in a sec won't we Thirteen point one. That's a kick in the guts. That really is. Because um, we do have Brian out coming out, but right. I better direct the chase bin to the correct fill bin for that. This is why I keep doing all these moistures. Uh, and uh, yeah, we will. Uh, I mean, thirteen point one. By the time Brian gets out here, it's going to be below thirteen, or at least at thirteen, so we'll be fine. But just got to uh, keep on checking, and yeah, then we'll be right. Okay, so I've done a few samples since the uh, the last clip, and uh, we're now at 12.7, which is uh, which is good. Um, so we're going into the 860. Well, we have been for a little while now, uh, and the 100 tonne will be next. Brian will only be about 20 minutes away, and he'll uh, take um, the grain that was from uh, earlier in the week that got rained on first, so we can get that one moved out. And then uh, hopefully you can go to Cascade and then come back get another load and go to town because with our time it's now 20 to 4 so yeah there's not much uh, time to get many loads done but uh, it means that it'll clear our storage out and then 
yeah, we'll be able to hopefully, fingers crossed, this moisture keeps dropping, go a bit later. But uh, yeah, we shall find out uh, as the day progresses. But uh, yeah, that wet stuff, I'm not going to be able to blend out until further in the week when we get uh, really hot days and hopefully bring our moisture down in the 11s and um, that's when I'll be able to blend out that 13.6% that stuff but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it but we won't be blending any of that out today. So we've got Brian rolling in the paddock just now um, so we're going to load him out of PS1 because that's got you know that was the wet grain well the rain, that got rained on and then we'll go out of the 860 and that'll get him loaded enough to cascade when he come back it'll be the uh, 860 and the 100 tonner that we'll go out of. So since uh, the last clip, which was just loading Brian, we're now about to load Brian again. So he's just coming back in for his uh, his second load, which will be his last load for the day. And uh, I've done a moisture since then, so we're now 12.4, which is you know bloody fantastic. It's nice and low finally. Will it stay that low? Uh, yeah, and for how long? I'm not sure. So I'll uh, keep running moistures. It's currently 20 to um, 20 to six at the moment. So yeah, we'll just keep on uh, checking our moisture and making sure we're right and we will just go as late as we can um, because yeah this last four or five days it's been a write-off really it's been quite annoying we'd actually would have been finished by now We've, we only had 950 hectares to go and start of the day so it's only five days of harvest for the boys so anyway we'll, we will get finished soon So Brian on his way back to town, just going to run this moisture back up to see where we're at, hoping it's still nice and low. Our last one was 12.4%, uh, so yeah, hoping it's below that and we can keep going, uh, get a decent night of harvesting. 
but um, yeah, obviously we'll find out in a sec to see uh, how far we can go. But because uh, the last five days have been, you know, no harvest for us, it'd be nice to keep going. And then hopefully, now that our moisture has finally come down, it means that for the week ahead, which is looking like a nice week, a nice dry week, uh, that tomorrow morning when we start up after servicing everything, that the uh, yeah the moisture is nice and low, and we can just get going. But yeah, that'll be tomorrow's problem, won't it? Twelve point seven, so it's come up. <laughs> well, what, what do you expect? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to <clears throat> run moistures for nearly every chase bin now. I'll run it for the next one just to make sure, because um, obviously thirteen percent is deliverable. Now anything above that we don't want because we've already got wet grain that we need to blend out. So it could be an early night, but I'm hoping that's just from a a wet apart from the paddock. Uh, yeah. Right, oh, well, while I stand here and fill my ute up with fuel, uh, I reckon we'll leave the video there. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a bit of a boring one of just driving up and down, up and down doing moistries, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's how the day's been, that's how this week's been. I'm just glad that we're finally harvesting. Been five days and no harvest, so. It gets really annoying when it gets like that. It, it just, it's frustrating. You know, everyone likes a wet day every now and then. You get to have a break and, you know, you can have a sleep in and whatever. But when you're so close to the end of harvest, 950 hectares to go this morning, five days harvest. So, so close. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Listen to the Glass Cage podcast. Uh, Movember's actually over now for this video. Um, so thank you to everyone who donated. Uh, obviously still got the mo because it is the 18th of November at the moment. So we're halfway through the year. Month. Month. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.